I am in South Florida. The way that we dress is not the way that most of the country dresses, okay? And so our shorts are shorter, um, <laughs> our shorts are shorter, and our shorts are shorter, okay? So even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never ran city, no man, I still go, go, go. It's Dion Dean. Welcome back to another video. So we are smack dab in the middle of concert festival season. I feel like this summer, more than any other summer, there are concerts happening every week. <laughs> so we just had Chris Brown, or Chris Brown is still going on, but we just had Chris Brown. We got Missy, um, Busta, and Sierra happening. There are a bunch of festivals happening across the country and across the pond. So for those of my, those are my, um, my people in the UK, you guys are having festivals like, and concerts like every other weekend. Um, and then we have, of course, in my community, in my world, we have Jamaican independence. So all my people in Toronto, we got Caravana coming up. There's just a lot happening <laughs> this summer. And so that being said, I've been on Pinterest looking for cute um, concert festival type outfits. And so I was like, you know what? Since I'm always on Pinterest and since I have a Pinterest account, let me go ahead and put my little foot in the water, right? Throw my name in the hat. So today is going to be all about concert slash festival slash um, date night, like anything where you just want to, you want to be cute, but you want to be casual, but you want to be sexy, but you want to be like 45, 55, 65. Um, go to that Chris Bell concert. I saw some outfits, honey. And I was like, yes. I uh I, I want to wear that. <laughs> I just need to make it my own, but I, I want to wear what you're wearing, honey. Um, so that being said, let's get right into it. So I actually, some of these are going to be um, from here um, as far as like where I recorded the content. And then the other parts are actually going to be in Orlando as I was prepping for the Chris Brown concert. So um, let's get right into it. The first look that I'm going to show you is, and I don't have any makeup on because again, I was just trying on clothes to throw into the suitcase, okay? Um, so this top is actually from Pretty Little Thing and I got it for Jamaican Independence, um, which is August, the end of August, middle of August, one of them. I know I can just hear my father right now, like what is Independence? Um, but Jamaican Independence is August. I know we're gonna be outside. I know we're gonna be eating and drinking and dancing. And so I wanted something that was comfy yet casual. I figured out really quickly that the arm situation is, got, is not going to work um, because especially when you're outside and you're you know eating the food and you're, yeah, it's not gonna work. And then also with the jeans, because um, a lot of what we're going to be doing during the month of August is going to be outside. Again, I don't think it's the best, the best fit, but I wanted to see how this denim on denim looked. And so that was the motivation for that one. So because I want my legs to be out and let me preface this for those of you who do not know, I am in South Florida. The way that we dress is not the way that most of the country dresses, okay? And so our shorts are shorter, um, <laughs> our shorts are shorter, and our shorts are shorter, okay? So our shorts are shorter, our skirts are shorter, our heels are higher. We're just a lot more comfortable with the showing skin. And then also being of Caribbean descent, I often tell people that are not from here and are familiar with our culture, you're never going to find a woman of Caribbean descent with low confidence. So we're just gonna do extra anyway. So I'm in South Florida and I'm of Caribbean descent. So that being said, so I paired the same top with um, the uh, shorts that I got from Ross. They're fashion to figure, but I found them at Ross for five bucks. And I actually had them um, in, my, um, in my list when they were at fashion to figure and they sold out. So I was like over the moon when I found them. So again, this is something that it was in consideration for the concert, but I was like, this is more going to be for when I'm outside. I think Jerk Festival is October, November, it stays hot, you know, when it was up for again. So this is actually something that I may wear to the Jerk Festival, to be honest, because it'll be a little cool. It'll be in the 70s. Um, but again, we are outside eating jerk from morning till night, <laughs> deep in the night. Um, so the next, <clears throat> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. So the next look, um, this top is actually part of an ensemble from Eloquy. And so, I want. I know that I wanted the top out. I know that because I have the shimmer lotion. You guys saw the shimmer lotion. Hold. If you haven't, I have the shimmer lotion from Pink Paradise from uh, Bath and Body Works, Pink Paradise. And so I know, and I think they have more, but that one is the one that I have. And I know that I want it to be shimmery and shiny 
for whatever occasion, whether I'm outside or inside. And so I'm really, I was really playing with like showing my decolletage. And so I literally just was going through my closet, see if I, see if it, seeing if I had any like big tops that I wanted to wear off the shoulder. And I saw this and I was like, you know what? Well, she can wear that without pants. <laughs> Not without pants, you're gonna pair it with something. Um, but I was like, yeah, let's break it apart and see what it does. And so I basically just wore one side off the shoulder with the same shorts. And so this is a this is a definite contender for um, a concert. Yeah, I really wanted to wear this um, for a concert. So maybe it's gonna be Missy, maybe it's gonna be, ooh, this would be good for Usher in October. We got tickets to the Usher concert. Um, I don't know, I don't know. Because you wanna be cute, you know, you have your little drinky drink, you're singing your lovers and friends. So yeah, we'll see. I'm giving myself options. So I found this top at uh, Goodwill last week. I was looking for an oversized blouse and this is how I wanted to wear it. The reason why I wanted it oversized is because I wanted to tuck it. This is like an Instagram, um, TikTok situation that I've seen where they wear it oversized, but they wear one side of the, yeah, I was just playing around. So I don't know if this is gonna actually work, but I was testing it out to see if I wanted to bring it to Orlando. And it was cute, but I was like, mm. Mm, this might be a Barris Hammond situation. Barris Hammond is coming at the end of, the, end of August. And I'm going with mommy and my, you know, my cousins. And you don't want to do too much to anti them. <laughs> you don't want to do too much. So I was like, this may be a Barris Hammond situation. And also for a quick little date night, little ice cream, little ice cream uh, situation. And so this look, um, again, I was only packing a few things, right? It was a weekend trip. And so I was like, you know what? Let me see how it looks with the jeans that I got from, um, these are Abercrombie from TJ Maxx. And so, again, just the same eloquy top that's part of the set um, with the distressed denim. The reason why I wanted to see it like this is because you know your girl does not like um, public anything, okay? And so, <laughs> I was like, depending on where we go, if we go to an outdoor festival, if we go, I don't know, somewhere where I don't want my bare legs out, um, again, if it's outdoors, I'm going to be hot, um, but if I wanted to go somewhere where I didn't want my bare legs out, then I would put this on. So that was another, another concert outfit. Okay. So we get to the actual day, Chris Brown concert. And this is what I actually put on. If you follow me on Instagram, then you have seen, uh, this look, well, actually on YouTube, I posted it too. And so the reason why I opted with the jeans instead of the, um, instead of the itty bitty shorts, because that's what I was going to wear. Okay. It's because it started raining. <laughs> and so that just wouldn't, for me, just wouldn't be a good look with, yeah. And so it started raining. My my goal or my intent, um, if I wore that top with the shorts, was to wear some sandals, right? Some gladiator sandals. It started storming. And I was, I was like, forget it. Let's just do um, sneakers. So that was that. So one of the outfits that I was considering wearing for that weekend because I knew that we were going to go out and we were going to go like have cocktails or drinks or something, make a good weekend out of it. And so I did take my Gia IRL um, bodycon dress. And so I'm just going to leave the Instagram post here. Um, and I really, really like this dress. At one point in time, I was uncomfortable with showing my stomach, um, as most of you may be. But something about life, <laughs> something about your 40s. I think that I felt good and I looked good. And so some of you may not look good, but I looked good to me and I felt sexy and I felt just, mm. and so I actually did end up wearing this. And so for me, I think this would be something that I could wear to, to a Barris Hammond concert or just something that's a little more elevated, a little more grown. Um, I wouldn't wear this to Missy. Maybe, would I wear this to Usher? No, I'm not gonna wear this to Usher. I need, I need to be naked for Usher. <laughs> I, it's not going to be Usher. But something a little bit more, you know, if I'm going to like a date night, and like a blue martini. I don't know if you guys have blue martini, blue martini, wherever you are. But like a Friday or Saturday night or at blue martini. So, sorry, somebody's texting me. Um, and so, yeah, that was my thought with this dress. And then I took, uh, hold on, hold on. So, you guys saw this outfit because I actually did wear this one or this was a contender to wear during the day on Monday. And so I just got a basic 
um, a basic bodysuit from Boohoo. I packed a few of them. Um, again, I overpack. Okay, so let's let me let me preface this by saying I overpack because I just don't know what I'm going to feel like the day of. I don't know what the vibe is going to be. Like it started raining on Saturday, and so if I didn't overpack, I would have just been lost with the one pair of sandals and no. So I overpack. So that being said, this was one of the outfits that I said if worst comes to worst and I'm just not feeling anything, I'm just gonna put on a white tank and my jeans and go about my business. And so this was one of the outfits that was a contender for the concert. This is actually something that I probably would wear to Usher or an outdoor concert or just something where it's just a little more fun, a little bit more lively, a little bit more, you know, 40 fine, young and sexy, but not too, you know, juvenile, juvenile. You, get, you guys, you get what I'm saying. Okay. Um, <laughs> I would not put it this way. I would not be ashamed to meet one of my students in this outfit and that's literally how I think about things even when I post stuff on social media because I do have my former students that follow me right all the way down from um, students that I was in high, uh, uh, that I counseled in high school to my college students and I don't want them to be like Professor Dean Brockholt right they don't need to see all that so my my measure is would I be ashamed? if I saw one of my students at this concert would I be ashamed that's how I judge myself um, so this was one of the looks and then finally was though I love those shorts, those amateur. I wish they they need to come out with more colors. I need it in the black. I I have it in the in this color and I have it in the red, but I need it in a black. I need it in a white. They're so comfy and so cute, and they're like teetering on inappropriate depending on how quickly you turn. Um, and I love that for me. I love that for us. Um, and so this is definitely something that I would wear to a concert. Um, yeah, yeah. That's all I got to say about that. Uh, and then last but not least is actually something um, that I was wearing this morning when I went out to meet with one of the girlies. And it was basically just the pretty little thing top with the pretty little thing, um, uh, pretty little thing top with the Abercrombie. Um, and I just paired it with my my red Antigona and I switched out the shoes. I was going to wear my Valentino flats, but I felt like it was... It, it felt too matchy-matchy, and I think it was because I had on different um, jewelry. If I had on my silver jewelry, I probably would have kept the red on red. Um, but yeah, I wore this to lunch, and we had a great time. So another concert outfit, just something to make you feel. I think we're at that age, especially for those of us that are children. I call us children of hip-hop. You know, when you grow up with, you know, Mary J. Blige and Misa Hilton and June Ambrose and Lil' Kim and you know, Mariah Carey, like we, I'm not gonna say we're forced right by nature, but we just grew up a little bit edgier than those of us that grew up with like an Anita Baker. I'm even gonna say Whitney Houston, like they grew up like with that. Our generation is just a little bit more edgier. So I, I feel like in our 40s, in our 30s and 40s, we're, we're still trying to figure out how to be grown. Um, and so that was the problem that I, not a problem. That was what I was finding with Pinterest is that I get it, like, I am somebody's mom, I'm somebody's wife, but I'm still Dion. You get me? And so, yeah. Anyway, I hope this helped you. If you're <laughs> if you're in that space and you're like, well, I want to wear something, but I don't want to embarrass myself. Um, and let me say too, like be just comfortable with if you feel good, like just in the case of those shorts, some people may think they're too short. I could I could care less. Um, some people may think that the top is inappropriate. I could care less. Like, really find something that makes you feel comfortable. Um, and have your friends around you who love you, who will let you know, mm, sis, that don't work. Or, mm, no, you look good, girl. Keep that on. Um, you just got to surround yourself with people who love you and le learn to love as the case is with that black dress. You know, I used to be like, oh, my belly. I don't really care. Like, I felt good. And if I feel good, you know what happens when you feel good? It emanates because I got so many compliments on that black dress, right? And so, yeah, it's really not about like what you're wearing, it's how you're feeling and how you're moving in those pieces, right? Anyway, I've taken up enough of your time. If you enjoyed this content, please let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you want more of this content and I will show enough, bring it to you because I show enough, have the clothes, shoes, and bags to show you <laughs> and to pair up and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, my darlings, have a wonderful day and I will see you very, very soon. Mwah. Bye. Go.